The 5.2 is coming together. Guys, look at this. We got the DI all hooked up. The headers are on. Now it's time to show you the boost. All right, we're gonna put this blower on that engine. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, I'm trying to wake up. It's uh, it's one of those days, but today is a big day. Hopefully, today, this guy right here is going into the Red Queen. Big day, big day. We're also gonna be unveiling the boost. If uh, we get to that point in the video, today is gonna be exciting. Let's get to it. Let's have a fun video. Let's install an engine and all the goodies on top of it, plus the new boost. You guys remember last video we talked about this guy. I'm so excited to get it in the car, but if you are new to the channel, then this is a RPG built 5.2 Coyote crank Gen 3 Coyote heads. So we're gonna call this a Super Coyote. It is a 2020 GT500 block essentially, and uh, pistons and everything, but stroke is Coyote. So with the added displacement, uh, we should be benefiting from a little bit more power, but uh, we gotta build the DI on top of it. And then uh, load this onto the K member where you're going to see us put headers on it and uh, eventually something special sitting on top of it. And then hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have a car that comes down sitting on top. And it will be home sweet home sitting in the engine bay. What do you think? Is that the plan? Sounds like fun. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're making progress. We got uh, the steering rack onto the new K member. This thing is really super fancy. Check this out, man. I'm really digging this new BMR K member. Guys, discount codes down beneath in the video description. Save you some money. BMRsuspension.com. Use promo code Xander7. Or you can go to lethalperformance.com. Use promo code Xander13 to save you some money on these. But, man, I really like this. And we're just getting everything bolted up. I really like the fact that it comes with the ability to run factory motor mounts. So give the car a little bit more comfort. Uh, not that I hated the other one, I really enjoyed it, but you know, this is more for just like a street strip kind of deal, but uh, I, I really like it. We're going to leave these loose until we get the motor seated down onto the K member, but really cool that they come with these spacers, which are actually a part of something else I'm going to show you real quick. And that is, there's one of them, these new BMR motor mounts. So everything on this car is getting some nice upgrades. So we're bolting this up. Looks really super fancy. I uh, I think it's gonna cosmetically look good. They are heavier than the factory ones, but you know maybe these add more rigidity. I don't really know if you need to add rigidity here, but I mean as much as we're doing to this car, I mean you might as well, you know, go the little extra mile. So that's what we're doing. But uh, I really like them. It bolts up super simple like this, and then we'll torque everything down. Get the other side down. And uh, then we're gonna drop it onto the K member. And then, I don't know if we're gonna put the transmission up along back behind it and do it all as one, but uh, I don't know. We're gonna also put the headers on and everything will be sitting on top. The new blower, yes blower, will be sitting on top by the time the, in the car comes down onto the engine. So we're gonna see this thing fully assembled outside of the car which is really cool yeah stick with the video guys because uh, yeah we're gonna bolt up the headers and it's gonna look i mean it's gonna be the whole heart of everything going on sitting outside of the car it's gonna be a really cool sight to see i don't want you to miss it but guys if you're new to the channel subscribe because we're micro vlogging here so we're gonna do some today some tomorrow and you guys can follow along through the process and uh, hopefully at the end of it, you know, we'll have big success out of this built 5.2 from RPG and the new blower, which we will reveal in this video what we're going to be doing. I just, you're just gonna have to keep watching because I'm not gonna give it to you just yet. So just hang in there. discussing is so I've been trying to hype everybody up and and the the videos leading up to this point there's gonna be a lot of there's well there is there's a lot of unknowns about what we're doing so what I mean by that is this is like a super coyote right the 5-2 uh, in this configuration like we expect it but um, the blower that we're gonna put on which you're gonna see is uh, not this combination has not been done yet in the world um, as far as specific configuration 
Um, I've seen some Shelby 350s with it, but not kind of like we're doing. The the other thing is that, uh, especially not in a GT, you know, this is like all brand new territory here. The lethal fuel system, it's not been run yet with this configuration either like we have so it's kind of new and that's what we're talking about and, and i'm hoping that we'll have no issue whatsoever but uh on that note i want to show you something really cool that lethal also has some, i'll tell you what lethal performance has um really stepped up with this build really stepped up i'm going to show you something else real quick that they sent me that i'm super excited to also get in the car that will it will be a future video how to install it looking monday scrumptious so no header on that one but look at this Look at the progress. It looks so beefy. Uh, I just want to like, I want to build another one and just not to have in a car, just to like sit in my living room. This is just like this, man. This is so good. Uh, all right. So let's get a bunch of stuff out of the way. I've been holding on to this box for a while and for a good reason, but I'm super excited to be able to show you this. Because we have the lethal return stall fuel system, but this is all brand new. This is what they call the box. The box. So it's going to replace all the relays in the back. And we have, uh, yeah, thicker gauge wire. We have a, a proper hob switch and uh, everything. So what we're going to be doing is running this through the car, gonna rip the old stuff out. So this is the old wiring and everything. Nothing wrong with it, it works. If you order one of these kits, a lethal fuel system, you can upgrade to the box for a really small fee. Now, one of the coolest things about this though is, you can watch their videos on their YouTube channel, but you have indicator lights right here to show if your pumps are like on working and everything. But everything is like pigtail, like plug and play. It's made of composite so it won't get hot. And it's basically like, almost like a four FC3 controller. You see there's one, two, three pump options. And uh, you can hook up hops to this, just uh, wired in. But I'm really excited about this. So it should make everything a little bit easier, have no issues as far as power and ground, and uh, be ready to rock and roll. So a big shout out to Lethal again. But we're gonna continue on. Ken is about to uh, work on the DI and the top side, but um, we're gonna be wrapping things up here in a minute and uh, have something fancy on the top hopefully the 5.2 is coming together guys look at this we got the di all hooked up the headers are on again man this is really really something special now is time to show you yes the boost the new power adder gen 3 heads coyote cranks so the stroke is still coyote but we have the bigger bore so it's a gt500 short block essentially with coyote internals so pretty cool it's kind of like a board over coyote almost so we're going to get to experience that larger displacement a little bit more power and uh, now it's time to show you the boost which is right back there so if you guessed this right in the comments big thumbs up man i've been you know hinting at this for a long time but this is a first in the world configuration with this blower and the lethal performance fuel system so Big shout out to everybody that's on board here. ModernMusclePerformance.net is who I actually got the blower from. VMP uh, hooked it up. So big, big shout out to VMP and Drew over there at Modern Muscle Performance. But uh, yeah, man, I, I am so excited to be able to show you what's in this box. If you don't know, maybe you're new to this whole thing. Here we go. I'm so excited. I've been holding on to this secret for a long time. Unless you follow me on Instagram or other social media, then... You've been getting some of the hints, but let's go over here and take a peek. Wires and parts and, oh yeah, I can't show you that yet. So we have uh, some other goodies. This is not the end of what you see. So we still got some stuff over there, boxes. I mean, what we're covering today is just a small part of still what's going to go in the car. I mean, when I said everything was changing, I'm in it all. But man, all right. So yeah, this thing is about to get dropped back down onto the engine, but... Uh, we're gonna assemble the blower pretty much on top, you know, once once it's in the car, but for thumbnail sake and just to see how it looks in all its glory outside of the car, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the blower on and get some pictures, get some video, and it's really cool to actually be able to see something like this. You know, the heart of the engine, this 1400 horsepower engine. <sighs> and uh, really, I mean, look at 
this new K-member, we got the new motor mounts, we got the headers, we got everything, guys. It's a lot of money tied up right there. It's so interesting and cool to be able to, to like sit back and just I almost want to build another one just to leave it in my living room and just, you know, never ever do anything with it. Just as like a not a coffee table, but you know what I'm saying. It just but anyway, here we go. This is it. This is it. Guys, here we go. That's right. That's right. VMP Odin. VMP Odin. Now this is a what they call a stage three. So a little different than like a stage one. And we're doing a 163R mono blade throttle body so i'm not sure what pulley we're going to start off on i've got a 69 i got some other pulleys on the way we do have to break in the engine and everything on like 93 for 500 miles no boost and then we'll put on the dyno and turn it up from there but this is it guys so let's open it up yes yes look at that so whipple was like you know forever weight and you know, Drew got me this in like three days. So that's why we went with this. Also, VMP has an incredible track record. So, you know, like the Gen 3R was like a huge success. I mean, it does really, really well on the Gen 2 Coyotes and other platforms, whatever it fits on. But uh, this is almost like the same thing, but like flipped, you know what I mean? So I think with the big throttle body and, you know, the stage three that we've got here, it's, it's really going to make some power. I'm, I'm really excited to see what this engine this blower this fuel system everything is going to uh equate to you know as far as power but um this has been a long time coming so huge shout out to all of the supporters all of you guys out there that watch the videos you know subscribing helping us achieve our dreams and uh, you know it's been a long time you know a few about a month ago this car was away from me for you know months on end it's a long backstory but it's coming together thankfully you know and uh, i i really could just not be more happy i mean this is amazing it's a honestly like a dream come true at this point so speechless we're swapping tuners too by the way we're going to use daryl wingard wingard performance honestly wingard's tunes everything that i've seen in person and it's quite a few cars has been top notch i mean you got lund tuned out there you got palm beach which we've been a big fan of for a while but i want somebody that's local here that can actually sit in the car and tune wow. so nothing against the other tuners I want somebody that's good, competent, not that the others are, but that is here. You know, Daryl will actually like come out to like track days and if I need a tune update or whatever, I, I live an hour away from him, so it makes sense. And uh, he's really accomplished with what he does. Everything that I've seen him do has been phenomenal. I've seen other tunes and other cars that are kind of messed up. Daryl gets a hold of it and it's fixed within like 30 minutes. I mean, where the other guys could not figure it out. It's He's that good. So the guy's brilliant, honestly. So anyway, Daryl, really looking forward to working with you. And we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to make some steam. So, all right, we're going to put this blower on that engine and see how it looks and wrap up the video. Guys, I appreciate you watching and sticking through the video, man. This is so exciting. But uh, again, subscribe because we're not done. There's a lot more goodies all around this shop and more stuff at my house. Things that we need to put on and change the looks, change everything. We got more performance stuff at the house. I mean, it's not all here. This this is going to be a uh, an adventure. So I'm glad to have you aboard. And we're ready. Here we go. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that thing is massive. Oh yeah, that lighting is much better. Oh boy. VMP Odin. These things are huge. They're big and fat. So we got to change up some of this stuff. Obviously, some of the pulleys are already on here, but uh, man, man, man. Let me back up here, get a good picture, some video. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's freaking huge, dude. You you got a Whipple, but you what do you think about the Odin so far? Yeah, man, it's hard to pick. That is freaking massive. So big. thumbnail wow freaking crazy freaking crazy to see this all like out of the car so we haven't bolted it down we're actually about to take it off lower the car down and then reattack 
uh, once the engine is back at home finally inside of the Red Queen here. But man, all right. Big shout out to Speed Addict 731. Go subscribe to this channel. Get him over 10,000 subs. I am serious, guys. I'll link it down below. Freaking awesome. VMP Odin 5 2. This is never. This, oh, well, put it this way. I haven't seen it done yet with the 5 2 with the Coyote Prank. Gen 3 heads. heads. Fully forged internals. I mean, ready to rock and roll. So you're going to be able to take full advantage and push this thing. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know if anybody yet has, on YouTube anyway. I've seen other, it. right. So it's like strange. Sting Mode, my good friend of mine has a lot of VMP Odin content, but we're gonna be able to tell a story that he does not, he's not able to. So built motor and it's not just a regular five liter. So I got a five two. So it's a little bit different. The content's gonna be freaking crazy with this. I mean, it's gonna be insane. Yeah. and. and you got a little more displacement, so you're going to make a little more power than the general than the standard Gen Three. Cavity. Right, exactly. So even at per each pound of boost, so it, I'm interested to see what it does. Yeah, we already know that Andrew put down 945. Right. On with a 72. Uh, 72 mm, pulley. And E85 with Daryl's tune. Yup. So I'm interested to see you going the exact same dyno, kind of similar pulley. Yeah, like a 72, and just mm -hmm. compare. And, and see what it does. Yeah. We, we, we can actually see the difference between a 5.0 and a 5.2 and with the extra displacement there. Exactly. All right, until next video, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Be safe, have a great day. We're gonna continue working on this bad boy here, but um, I'm telling you, BMR, lethal performance, modern muscle performance. Um, who else we got? VMP, obviously, uh, RPG racing engines. Um, everybody, Corsa, all of the good companies out here all have a part in this build. Big shout out to Speed Addict 731. He's tired, guys. So we're going to uh, quit filming, wrap this up, and then get ready for the next content. Uh, get ready for the next videos to come out. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.